what up folks, Alex here. I had a comment recently asking how I created my recent vlog in the widescreen 21 by 9 aspect ratio, so here's how. Now this video has been exported in 21 by 9 so if you watch it on your phone it should pretty much fill the screen and if you're watching it on a PC, a standard monitor, you'll notice the black bars at the top and the bottom. That's the look that we're going for. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now this project is currently set to 1920 by 1080 or 1080p and that's a standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now the first thing we're going to do, come down to the bottom right hand corner and we're going to click on the cog. We're then going to go to the master settings on the left and it's the timeline resolution that we're looking at. Now you can do this at any point, you don't need to do it at the very beginning, you can do this at any point during your project. If you have shot at 1080p, a quick one that you can change it to is 1920 by 800 and you change that simply by typing it in this box here. If you've shot at a higher resolution, for example I've shot in 4K, I'm actually going to leave this at 1080 and I'm going to change that instead to be 2560. There's more information about resolutions down in the description below. We're then just going to hit save. Now straight away you'll notice that our preview window here has become wider and we've now got these black bars on the left and right hand side because our footage no longer fills the frame. So what we need to do is to zoom in. Now we're not going to do this on each of the individual clips, instead we're going to make life easier and do that using an adjustment clip. So in the top left hand corner, click on the effects library, come down to the toolbox, expand that, click on effects and then we're going to grab an adjustment clip and drag that onto our timeline above all of our footage. I'll then just lengthen that out so that it covers all of the footage on my timeline. And then going to give it a click so it's highlighted in red. We're going to go to the top right hand corner and open the inspector and then we're going to come down to transform and we're going to adjust the zoom. Now all I'm going to do is zoom in until everything fits within the frame like so. Now because we've zoomed in we've cut the top and the bottom off our footage so things may not be in the correct position so we need to adjust the position of the clips on our timeline. Now generally speaking you don't want to do this via the adjustment clip because each of your clips will probably need some slightly different adjustment. So I'll use the adjustment clip purely for the zoom and then if we click on each of the individual clips on the timeline still within the inspector come down to position and it's the Y we need to adjust and I'm just going to move this so that everything is in the correct place like so. We're then just going to move over to our next clip and make the same adjustment so that everything looks about right. Once you've gone through your entire timeline, you can then shoot over to the Deliver tab. And if I scroll down, you'll see the resolution is now set to custom and it's pulled through our custom resolution so that it will export at 21 by nine. You can then just add to the render queue, start the render as normal, and you're good to go. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, feedback, or suggestions for these quick tips, please do let me know down in the comments below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed the video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Take it easy. Until next time, see ya.